What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're keeping it nice and simple with the recipe that almost everybody loves, crispy, juicy, and delicious fried chicken tenders. Now you can serve these up plain or you can use this homemade sauce that I'm about to show you. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to name the notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Today we're using chicken breasts instead of chicken tenders. You can use chicken tenders, but I like my chicken tenders a little bit bigger. So we're going with the breasts. We're gonna cut those down. And then this episode is sponsored by my damn self. If you haven't tried this yet, grab my all purpose seasoned flour. This makes your life so much easier in the kitchen when it comes to fried foods. Otherwise, I'll leave you a little recipe in the description box as well. We got some butter, brown sugar, soy sauce, honey, some sriracha, that's gonna be for our sauce. And for the marinade, we got a little hot sauce and buttermilk. All right guys, so we're gonna turn chicken breast into chicken tenders. Obviously again, guys, you can use whatever you got from the store if you wanna get some chicken tenders from there. But I want mine to have, you know, some meat on the bone or off the bone, so to speak. So, so we're gonna cut these into chicken tender sized pieces. About like so, that's kinda of what I'm looking for. Try to make them as even as you can. That way they cook at the same rate. All right guys, so if you're using my seasoned flour, you do not wanna add any additional season into this or it's gonna to be too salty. My seasoned flour is designed for you to be able to drop whatever protein you want directly into the flour, fry it up, and you have perfection. So today we're just gonna buttermilk brine these. I'm gonna hit it with a tablespoon or two of hot sauce, because why the hell not? Just to add a little bit of heat to the party. Totally optional though. But we're gonna soak it in this buttermilk to help tenderize the chicken a bit and it's gonna help that flour stick to the chicken as well when we go to bread it. But I'm not gonna add any additional seasoning. Obviously you can do whatever you want, but that is my advice to you if you're using my product, if you're using something else, then go ahead and do your thing. I will also go ahead and leave a seasoned flour recipe down in the description box so you guys can go ahead and season up your own flour at home if you don't wanna use mine or if you don't have it readily available and you wanna make it ASAP. We're just gonna let this soak for about an hour or so up to overnight and it'll be ready to fry. All right guys, so we have our oil coming up to 350 degrees. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and bread our chicken. Again, with my seasoned flour, no need to add anything to it. It's gonna have all the flavor that you need. Get in there with your hands. Make sure there's no bald spots on your chicken. Make sure it's nicely coated like so. We're gonna place it there to hang out while that oil comes up to temperature. That's gonna give the flour time to adhere to the chicken and ensure that you have a nice, crispy, juicy piece of fried chicken when it's all said and done. All right, my friends, so while the chicken's hanging out and the, and the oil is coming up to temperature, we're gonna go ahead and make this quick and easy sauce. In a skillet over medium heat, we're gonna melt two tablespoons of butter because butter makes everything better. Once that butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and add in about a quarter cup of brown sugar. To the brown sugar, I'm going in with a few tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, maybe three or four tablespoons worth. Then we're gonna add a quarter cup of sriracha, more or less depending on your spice tolerance. And then about a half cup of good old honey. We're just gonna get in there and give that a mix over medium heat. It's gonna simmer away, all those flavors are gonna to come together. You're gonna to have a beautiful, sweet and spicy sauce for your chicken. This is great on wings, you can throw this on some shrimp, some salmon, but today we're throwing it on our chicken tenders. Just a few ingredients and it comes together in like 10 minutes, you really can't beat it. All right guys, so once the oil comes up to 350, we're gonna gently place in our chicken tenders. 
The key is to not overcrowd your fryer. You want to give it a little shake to make sure that nothing's sticking to the bottom of the fryer or they're sticking together. You just want to promote even cooking. Make sure they get nice and golden brown. Make sure our oil doesn't drop in temperature too much, which will happen if you overcrowd it. Those are all things that result in not the best fried chicken. So the, this, the crust won't be as crispy. You run the risk of the outside getting cooked before the inside. So just be patient, two or three batches, depending on how much chicken you're working with. So after a couple minutes, just get in there and make sure, like I said, they're cooking evenly. So if you wanna flip them over, it's not a bad idea. Oh man, these are looking good already. You can see the seasoning and that's all-purpose flour. All right guys, it's time to go ahead and sauce these up a little honey sriracha. Oh man, look at the glaze. Give them a little toss. All right guys, we went ahead and plated this up platter style. On one side we have the honey sriracha, on the other side we got the plain Jane. I don't know which one I wanna dig into first. But before we do that, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Before we get into the taste test, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, I've waited long enough. Here goes nothing. Oh, man.